check it out. Check it out now. Every day struggle finna be lit in the morning. Now I ain't gonna lie to y'all, man. I might bring some popcorn. I gotta have a henny on deck. I gotta hear what will be this response because let me just keep it 100, man. It's about time they get started dissing other people other than me. I feel like all these niggas, they just try to get a buzz by dissing me. But clearly, I, y'all know the dynamic. I mean, the most of the newer artists, they kind of rock with me. The newer artists, they usually don't like Joe. They consider him a hater. But Migos, and specifically Quavo, previewed a snippet off the new QC, the compilation album, which is dropping tomorrow night. And in the snippet, you hear Quavo saying, if a nigga hating, call him Joe Budden. And then he ad-libs, pussy, okay? Now, I'm not too sure if that was his ad-lib or it was a uh, takeoff. It sounded like takeoff. But regardless, the Migos are dissing Joe on record. Now, I hear people because I see the tweets, yo, didn't you say non-lyrical rappers shouldn't get that lyrical rappers? And this is where I got to tell the rest of y'all, this is a big and clear difference between Joyner Lucas dissing Lil Pump and the Migos dissing Joe Budden. The Migos aren't trying to rap battle. Okay, first of all, if you don't know, the Migos are a rap group that are really surrounded by a ton of street niggas, okay? That street niggas getting their legal money by rocking with Migos and QC, whether it's P, whether it's affiliates of P, WAC 100, whoever, they have a bunch of street niggas who used to be doing straight street shit, now they're getting their legit money by just backing musical groups. They ain't about to let nobody fuck that up. And if it does get straight, they got no problem handling that street issue that they could get back to get legal money. Now, I could tell you, okay? And by the way, this is why I'm a little bit shocked because th- th- they're not going to be rap battling, all right? Uh, Joe definitely is not going to be responding. And I'm pretty sure it's probably not more than just this little snippet here for the Migos. By the way, is it attention seeking? Absolutely. But. This is why I'm a little shocked, because I thought this was squashed a little bit. I don't know if y'all remember a couple of weeks ago when Joe was going on me, blah, 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 blah. Yo, yo, watch out with the X beef and Migos and blah, blah. Listen, basically, WAC 100 gave him a call or some shit like that, right? Because WAC 100 is really the guy who's making a lot of shit happen in the background. And he probably thought I was instigating that beef. Keep it on. I'm keeping it a thousand with y'all, okay? So... When I see this, I'm like, well, I thought the issues with you and the Migos, which I know Wack 100, because after the, the whole BT shit happened, when I got off that plane, Wack 100 called my phone, tried to talk about what's going on with him, okay? Wack 100 told me the same thing about him. You stand too close to Joe, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, regardless of that fact, I thought that issue was a little bit nullified or at least squashed because he's been in contact with them. Clearly, that's not, or maybe this is an old song, but... This is Quavo really voicing, and you know they all roll together, so if Quavo say one thing, that's a whole team. Now, uh, I'm just going to read tweets. I ain't got no advice to give or nothing. This is playing out publicly, and it's part of my job. I cover public events. Now, the this is public, and this is what Joe said publicly responded. Okay, Joe said, Quavo won't smoke, LOL. Then he continued by saying, soon as it's all peace, he decides to unleash this lyrical venom in my direction. That's crazy, shaking my head. And then he tweets directly at Quavo, I am your OG, and you will respect me as such. Now, I'm going to leave that just there until I hear what he got to say. But all I will say in the response to people who are comparing this to Joyner Lucas dissing Lil Pump, Joyner Lucas and Lil Pump have no smoke. Quavo or the Migos, they had a problem with Joe, a legitimate problem. They literally had problems that was beyond music, right? Or at least that felt like the energy. We will see what happens going forward. Again, according to QC, they thought we were picking on Yachty and especially Joe. They felt like, yo, if you're picking on our artist consistently, you're stopping money from him, but even more important than him, but from us. So now we got a personal issue. When they got a personal issue... Everybody internalizes it. It moves from Yachty to the Migos have a problem. Then the BT award shit happened because some other shit, because there was a mall incident and, hey, they they was trying to make sure there was an understanding. They felt it was disrespectful walk on the interview. And then from there, it's been, again, and, and this is, I'm not too sure where everyone stands on it because we see the Migos they haven't really spoke too much on the incident at the BT Awards. Of course, we've commented on it because it's a job. You got to talk about it, and everybody keeps asking about it, right? 
I don't know where the temperature is between both parties because I could tell you that it's beyond just rapping or just saying shit publicly. A lot of calls being handled in the background. So if you're looking at tweets, you're looking at response songs for where this is going, that wouldn't be a proper indicator based on what I know. Okay? However, tomorrow morning, let me live. All right, get a comment box. If you guys like them, subscribe. Listen, I do like the Migos. Joe is my coworker, and in an ideal world, they'll drop a Christmas like fucking um, Carol, and uh, they would mend these problems. But this ain't a real world. Well, actually, this is a real world. I don't know, man. Get a comment box. Make sure you guys like them. Subscribe to Woods Academics. I'm up.